The unsolved problem for grade 12 has proven difficult to agree upon. The leading contenders include guilloche patterns. These are spirograph patterns, except instead of having two wheels embedded, guilloche patterns might have three wheels or more embedded, and uh, they are rotated to create these beautiful patterns. You're familiar with them because they appear on paper money as a security measure worldwide. The unsolved problem is, given one of these beautiful patterns, can you recreate the wheels that made that pattern? Many educators, led by Amanda Serenovi, wanted to see fractals or cellular automata in the curriculum. They're beautiful, and that's enough reason for them to be in the, in the curriculum. But many mathematicians would say that they want some rigor associated with any discussion of fractals at a grade 12 level. That means something like discussing the Hausdorff dimension and, list, and um, connecting it with logarithms. Anyway, that's uh, I didn't mean to mention that in this video. Uh, the old problem that we did have was actually solved a couple of years ago. So the, the old problem was to uh, find the minimum number of hints required in a Sudoku so that there is a unique solution. The answer turned out to be 17. And this is the man who proved it. Lastly, we really want to get away from the white man problem. Most of the problems that are selected are from white men. We really want to find problems that are from other places on the planet and from <laughs> different uh, <gen> <laughs> and from women.